almost done. Sirs and Madam Cheryl Watch Party Volume 4. This is it. Last episode, and it is called No Safe Haven. And if I've learned anything about them having devil meanings in their titles, it's going to be some bullshit. So uh, let's just get on into it. Three, two, one, play. My wish list. I would like a hint of where some of these other maidens are. Need to know that information. I would like um, Blake and Oriang to end Adam. Um, I would like Ren to get the killing blow on this foolish ass Grim. I would like Crow to not die. I would like Weiss to uh, show up in the right place and get reunited with everybody. Um, I would like our fuckboy uh, quota. It's We've exceeded it. I would like it to go back down. I don't really care who gets got. I need some of them to get got. That's what I need. And then I need Yang to just go beat some ass somewhere. My girl has been sidelined too long. This is my wish list. Maybe I'll get some of it in volume five and not this one, but like, we can pack some shit in these episodes if I've learned anything from this show. Like, volume three was diabolical at the end in terms of content and in terms of pace. So let's, let's do it. Blake's coat is so cool, by the way. Let's fucking go. We need a win, everybody. Let's get some wins. I want to see Raven fight, like, for real, too. Did I say that? I can't remember. I'm really hype and focused. Crow's just gonna chill. It's fine. That is some advanced level shit. I feel like this is the animation team just straight stunting with their new budget and tools. Whoa. John. Come on, Ren. Do it. Ooh. The Grim Cloak is real. Just get him to safety. Holy shit, what a cool semblance. That's cool because we've seen so many offensive, having a defensive one is cool. What? Say it, old man. <laughs> Or just sigh in exasperation, that seems right too. Holy shit, that thing is gnarly. <gasps> oh no. Guys, keep moving. Go in a circle. Come on, strategery. No. Oh, you don't. You have a whole ass shield that you never have in your hand. Are you sure that now is the time? Nice. Yeah, just make it immobile, maybe? It's gonna grow back, but it seems like a good a plan at any. Plan as any working hard. Oh no! Dang it, they got dunked on big time. This 
This thing is crazy. Ren has no time. Oh no! Nope. 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 Ruby. Don't like that. No. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Oh, phew, uh, that's much more reasonable. Come on, throw it up. Stop looking. <laughs> I can always count on Nora for some levity. God bless her. Oh, oh, shit, that's real bad. Ooh, no. Dude, his new sword is great. Ugh. Ren, knock it off. <gasps> no, 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 no. This is bad. They better not have dumped all that backstory just for some shit to happen and one of them to die. I'm gonna be really upset. Fuck up any time now would be real great. No, but I want him to get the kill. Nora, let go. Nora, they're going to get hurt if we don't. Oh. <gasps> Ooh. No. I won't let you kill yourself like this. After everything we've been through, I won't let it end. Not like this. <sighs> yeah! Get it with Dad's dagger. We can do this. Yeah, come on, pep talk. Yeah! Take care of the rest. Nice. Got you so cool. Yes. Get in there. Yes! Get it in the head, in the head! He didn't give a fuck about you. For my mother. For my father. For all those that you've slain. Yes! 
Yes. For myself. Nice. He got that KB! Yes! So fucking cool. <sighs> He's still breathing. There's still some hope, maybe, kind of. They were right there. Yay! We made it, Uncle Crow. <sighs> oh my god, just make out already. Please. So wholesome. Oh, okay, I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take what I can get in this fucking show. for leaving the way I did. I know you told me it was a reckless idea, and after everything I've been through, I can definitely say you were right. Growth. It's been hard. We're all growing together. All and I'm not just talking about the monsters we fought out here. Okay, you can hide out back in the cargo hold. I'll take you as far as I can, but if we get caught, you're on your own. Understand? Every step we made took us further and further away from the things we knew. And every morning we woke up wondering if just over the next hill would be something good. Yay, she's on the way! Or something terrible. It's scary, not knowing what's going to happen next. And the things we do know now, just how bad it can get. How 
almost makes it all worse. Yeah, go get him. <gasps> you told me once that bad things just happen. Uh, angry when you the Yang you outfit is out of control. something yeah we have and I've seen what loss can do to people mm hmm but if we gave up every time we lost then we'd never be able to move forward oh they're so cute Ruby's spitting truth we right now. have a chance to see what beautiful things the future might have waiting for us. We'd never have the strength to change. Whether it's ourselves. Or the world around us. Oh, yay. And we'd never be there for other people who might one day be lost without us. <gasps> it's the team up. It's the team up. Training for Yang to become huntresses. Go get to be the ones to stand up. Oh man, do something about all the bad in the world. I need these two to go get Adam. I need it to happen. City of Mistral. Because there are plenty of people out there who are still lost. And even more who will try to gain everything they can from their sorrow. Believe me when I say, I know it can feel impossible. Like every single day is a struggle against some unstoppable monster we can never hope to beat. <laughs> we have to try. Oh my god, girl, you got beat. Let it go. We've already... Just do better. Then for the people we haven't lost yet. Oh, little Ruby. I miss you so much. I miss Weiss and Blake too. But I think you'd all be proud to know that I made it to Mistral. All of us did. We even Didn't wear eyeliner this time because I way. fucking learned. Professor Lionheart, the headmaster of Haven Academy. And he told us some things that you're <gasps> gonna want to hear. Ooh. Things I can't trust will make it to you in this letter. Lucky, lucky. But maybe if you joined us, he could tell you himself. With Beacon gone, they'll need Dad at Signal more than ever. And I know you need to focus on yourself before I can expect you to come out with me. Sure would be great to get Team Ruby back together again. <sighs> you are in so much trouble when I find you. Mm-hmm. Until next time, your loving sister, Ruby Rose. So good. Be sure to give you the address of where we'll be staying in Mistral. 
I'd love to hear back from you and dad, and I can't wait to fill you in on whatever's going to happen next. Now that we've made it across Anima, there's the tea set. I really think things are going to start going our way. Why would you say that? Why, thank you, Professor. Salem always did say you were quite hospitable. <sighs> All right. We did some healing. That was really important, and I'm glad that it happened. But I'm ready for some asses to get just beat, you guys. I'm ready for it. I need that catharsis. It happens every night. I watch my world ignite. There's no waking from the Yeah, I, this Oscar Osmond thing. Like, everybody is just converging. Is it going to be like Beacon Round 2? I don't know. This, this song is the best song. Um, yeah, so, I guess, I guess it kind of makes sense. So if you think that there is like a shadowy, you know, cabal of people protecting the maidens, then there obviously is going to be one on the other side. This balance seems extremely important in this world. Like all the way from the creation myth to Salem versus Ozpin. I'm curious what the, like, her origin is. Because I feel like we kind of got Ozpin's. Like, I feel like he's the wizard in the Maiden's Tale. So I'm really curious, like, her origin more specifically. And his really, I guess. Um... I don't know, I have a lot of mythological questions now. That I'm very curious about. Um, I screwed up and I didn't watch World of Rem uh, Remnant this time around. So maybe those questions got answered, I don't know. I'll watch it before I get into volume five for sure and get caught up. But this song makes more sense. Now that I've seen it, it's definitely a Yang song, like, 100%, so. Oh man, it's so good. So, Volume 5, coming up soon. Uh, so, there will be a lot of costume changes for me. Um, the way my time has changed, uh, I will probably be doing, like, two to three at a time of all the volumes moving forward, because I don't think I'm going to have a day to myself unfortunately, to, like, knock them out. Um, so I'm going to apologize in advance because I may not retain as much detail because all the previous volumes I've done over at least a weekend. Um, and one, two, and three I did in a single sitting. So uh, I know you guys are amused when I pick up on details, and I'm just going to apologize to you now that that may not be as good anymore because I'm very tired. I just live in a constant state of tired. But I'm doing it so that I can be in on volume 8. Because I'm really excited about that. I'm excited to hang out with my friends and be a part of the club. It'll be really good. So, that's exciting. Ah. I want to look at the music stuff. So this is 2016. That makes sense. I've been trying to count back on things. It's amazing. I also want to take a minute. We got to talk about the animation jump and this volume was insane. And I feel like they did a lot with it. Um, they were able to flesh things out and utilize things. Like I think the scene, for example, the scene with Weiss at the uh, charity event was way more detailed and more compelling in some ways than the dance was in volume two. And I think that the show benefits from those kinds of details, but I'm still very, very impressed at the amount that they did in the early volumes. 
with the budget that they had. Especially Volume 1, I think, is a phenomenal achievement that way. And it's like, I get that some people have want it to be really super high fidelity all the time, but I feel like when you have to step outside of the box and do really creative things, it, it ends up being kind of cool. Um, and I have an appreciation for those things. Like, the DIY shit is extremely cool. Like, I'll always give that a little more credence than I do somebody who's got a big old budget and whatever. And part of that is because, like, I feel that life is a creative, doing a lot of DIY stuff, but... Yeah, I... I'm impressed oh, just at the achievement that the show is. I'm impressed with the shorthand that we get for using really familiar fairy tales and things. It allows them to explore the world more because we have a point of reference. And here's post credit scene, this guy. Excuse me. Oh, and it's this guy. Oh, uh, does he know? No, I don't think they allow kids in here. Squeak. Shut up, I'm getting there. Oh man. Um I'm supposed to tell you I'd like my cane back. He's so cute. It's good to see you again, Oz. Nice. 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 Okay. That was one good reunion. We got one thing down. Check some shit off my list. But, uh, yeah. Uh, what I was saying before... I was so rudely interrupted by the, the post credit scene that we all actually care about. Um, I think the reason they're able to get away with such short episodes for things is specifically because they use the shorthand of familiar folk tales, fairy tales, um, and even kind of familiar tropes from anime and um, TV and comics. You see a lot of that kind of stuff in here, too. And as long as you put an original spin on it, that stuff's not bad. I feel like there's a way you could do it where it feels very cliched, but this is not that. And that is one thing I really appreciate about the show. Um, and something I'd like to explore in a little more detail, maybe um, when I have a chance. <laughs> After all is said and done, um, Bruce and I have talked about these sorts of themes and things for a, a long time. So. so thank you to everyone for watching. I will let you go now and stop my rambling. And thank you, since I mentioned him to Bruce, for getting all this done for me. I would not have had time to do all of this by my lonesome. So he is literally the only reason that I am able to do this. And thank you guys very much. Hope you have a good rest of your evening, day, morning, wherever you are, whenever you are. And I will see you in volume five. Bye.